Welcome back, friends and scoundrels. Uh, Matt finally got his box, and we're gonna take a look at it. What'd you get? The dice box from GimmeARoll.com. My favorite stuff. Stringy things. No. <laughs> First off, we got some pretty cool looking dice. Royal purple and blue with some gold numbering. And then we have a guild card. For the thousand, it's called, for part of the adventure, which is called A Murder Most Foul. We have 10 NPC cards, which these might actually be pretty useful. Can use these for just about any kind of campaign. Yeah, I was looking through that. That, you know, is a pretty useful thing because you can add those to your story in general. There seems to be enough information to build a character off of it, mm -hmm. not, you know, all the information for it, but... Here's kind of like a uh, cheat sheet handout for part of the story. Not 100% sure what you'd exactly call that, but... And then here is the booklet of the adventure itself. Looks like the guy put a lot of time and effort into this. I mean, there's, there's illustrations. Looks like a pretty deep, rich story. Could be kind of interesting to run, but we'll just have to see how it goes when we run the campaign. Maybe. <laughs> Yep, and then a uh, card describing everything. And that's cool. about it. All in all, I don't feel it was worth the $40, but it is first box with them, so we yeah, kind of see maybe with the next one. They're, um, they're pretty new too, weren't they? Yeah. How many boxes do they have out so far? This would be number three. So it's, it's hard for... I know Wayne over at Dungeon Crate had a hard time getting going and figuring out... Figuring out exactly what he was doing, the first year of boxes were kind of pretty random. I mean, there's a lot of really good stuff and useful stuff, but you know, since then he started putting the adventures and building the box around an adventure, which is seems like kind of like what these guys are doing. I don't know if they're just trying to get going and seeing if they can get pick up vendors or what. Yeah, I don't they, know what their they business yeah. plan, but. They advertised it as, as a, an adventure in a box, so it's supposed to be open up and you can run the adventure. But it doesn't look like monetary value is real high as far as like this kind of stuff and minis that you're going to get. It looks like more is spent on the artwork and story and development of the of the one shot itself Which as opposed to you could cut that cost in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. But to get other stuff and better things in there. So far, I guess we'll have to see how the uh, next box is. But yeah, um, definitely some miniatures or something would help. Mm -hmm. Some things you know focused around, even if it's digital content that you know build your own paper minis or something. Yeah, wouldn't be too bad. So that way, you don't have to. You know, they don't have to spend a fortune. You don't have to spend a fortune getting the minis. Because like this one, glancing through it looks like it's more of a role play heavy adventure where there's not a lot of combat or anything there's not really a I mean there's bad guys but they're not your traditional D&D &D style mm -hmm. encounters there isn't really much of a map so it's going to be a lot of theater of the mind and kind of almost looks like a game of clue if you <laughs> ask me honestly yeah <clears throat> which is not a bad idea but be interesting to play out yeah this is not, not a lot of people in the community who are big into that. A lot of them like the combat, the actual fighting and, and stuff. All right. <laughs> so that was uh, the dice box from GimmeARoll.com. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share. Turn on the notifications. Until next time, live to roll. Mm -hmm.